you know what doc i'm eating healthy this is the one of the things that i hear the most every day but what do they mean by a healthy diet everybody's definition of a healthy diet is all different but one common thing though it's all vegetable and fruits you know i also used to think that too until just about five years ago actually um, especially after moving to us i starting to experience some digestive issue i gained over 30 pounds and i was like okay i need to eat more vegetables this is why i'm making this video i really want you to rethink what it really means to have a healthy diet because what we eat makes our body and our health no matter how hard we exercise can it ever be as important as we eat no so please watch until the end and let me know your thoughts in the comment i'm really curious about your perspective back in prehistoric times there were no coffees teas potato corn avocado mangoes olive or kiwis in fact vegetable like cabbage broccoli kale and cauliflower didn't even exist until medieval europe plants were mainly used as a medicine and fruits they looked and tasted completely different just a few hundred years ago corn watermelon bananas they were all different today's fruit are genetically modified to be more enjoyable for us many of us myself included have spent our lives being told by schools uh, doctor's office or health authority to avoid certain foods ironically though these are often the oldest foods known to humankind if you search for healthy foods on google this is what you get a list with barely any mention of meat except eggs and chicken breast do you remember eggs used to be an enemy for cholesterol which are now reconsidered as healthy anyways the medical community has been so adamant about the dangers of saturated fat that our consumption of animal-based saturated fat has dropped dramatically compared to the past meanwhile our intake of plant-based unsaturated fat has gone way up it's worth noting that highly processed cooking oil didn't even exist until about 100 years ago look at this graph of chronic disease rate in the u.s chronic diseases here are like diabetes um, high blood pressure heart disease cancer and asthma only about 7.5 percent of people had this issue in 1940 but by 2020 this figure has skyrocketed to 60 percent and during this period the intake of animal-based saturated fat kept dropping while the intake of supposedly healthy plant-based unsaturated fat kept increasing isn't that strange as chronic disease have exploded the oldest most natural food have been vilified and we have eaten less of them when we show this stat to doctors and scientists and they run out of explanation they blame it on smoking but wait smoking rate have been going down then they say it's because of people aren't exercising enough but look the number of people exercising has only been rising more people today are trying to be more active and live healthier lives than ever before and now they run out of the reason they will say it's alcohol while alcohol consumption hasn't changed all that drastically either eventually they will say it all comes down to diet here in 2024 the american heart association is still saying that eating saturated fat raises bad ldl cholesterol frankly i'm not even sure ldr should be still be labeled as a bad cholesterol but we will let this slide for now in any case the aha claims that even minimal processed oils like coconut oil are dangerous because of their saturated fat content and when very powerful institutions like AHA say this, of course, doctors have to follow. That's why doctors keep recommending these things. Harvard Medical School, which has been a huge proponent of plant-based diet, conducted a 2019 study saying Americans are gradually eating healthier. They have created something called the Healthy Eating Index Score. According to them, eating a lot of high-quality carbs, unsaturated fat, and the plant-based protein means you're eating healthy in other words they're basically saying don't eat meat and americans score on this scale are slowly rising but if people are following their advice why are obesity rates still climbing 
if we are eating healthier, why are chronic disease still on the rise? Could it really be all these health problems are from eating too much meat? Take a look at this meta-analysis. It reviewed 49 observational studies and 27 randomized controlled trials and found out that there is no strong evidence supporting traditional cardiovascular dietary guideline. Is it really meat that's causing this chronic health issue? Or isn't it more reasonable to be suspicious of this? What do you guys think? Have you heard of telomeres? They're protective structure at the end of chromosome, kind of like cap, that helps keeping chromosome safe. As telomeres shorten, cells enter the state of aging. So maintaining the length of this telomere is thought to play a key role in slowing down aging. Here's one study that may shock you. It looked at uh, how different food and drinks impact telomere length. Out of 9 food types, including cereal, fruits, vegetable, and red meat, and 8 drinks like juice, coffee, and tea, red meat was the only food that significantly helped preserve telomere length. A more recent study in Singapore involving 20,000 people found that as a red meat consumption increased, telomere length also increased. Isn't that surprising? Instead of being bad for health, red meat may actually be a longevity food. One of the popular longevity substances is called L-carnosine, which is abundant in meat. Carnosine is found in high concentration in muscle and the brain, but only in animal tissue. Studies have shown that people with a brain disease like Alzheimer or dementia tend to have a low level of carnosine. This is why animal products like meat and eggs, which are rich in carnosine, are thought to help protect the brain and body from aging. In another study, carnosine was shown to delay cellular aging, slowing down the telomere shortening, and even double cell lifespan. This means carnosine may actually help extended lifespan by slowing down telomere's shortening. And where is carnosine found? Eggs, fish, and meat. The world's oldest woman once said her secret to longevity was eating three eggs daily, and a global study by the United Nations covering 175 countries, found that higher meat consumption correlate with longer life expectancy. The same pattern was observed in Europe. Despite what many experts say, red meat, ironically enough, may actually promote longevity and is packed with nutrients including high level of vitamin B and various minerals. These nutrients are actually found in higher amount in red meat than in poultry. But on Google, as you saw earlier, healthy meat option, all you see is a chicken breast. Nothing about red meat. Personally, I think this is a serious issue. So what do you guys think? Please share your thoughts in the comment and check out my video on how to lengthen telomeres. We humans are definitely evolving creatures, no doubt about it. A plant-based diet and proteins are clearly trending too. Still, I believe it would take at least thousands of years for us to fully adapt to a diet this high in plant-based food. So, if your mom or wife insists on veggie-dominant diet, share this video with them and let's look up some tips on cooking the perfect steak now. Remember, health is wealth, so invest in yourself. This is Dr. Sean, making health easy for you. See you next week.